what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Mav Attack. Now if you don't know a video, yo ass just clicked on. This is how to run videos in 60 frames per second for YouTube. Now, what I'm going to do for you right now is I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough between recording the game, the workflow of the editing system, and actually getting it onto YouTube to run it in 60 frames and see what you actually have to do to view it in 60 frames. So this is going to be a full guide for you guys to get your videos up and running in 60 frames per second. That's smooth, crisp. And now to view videos in 60 frames per second, you're going to want to make sure that you're using Google Chrome first at this moment because Google Chrome is the only browser that's supporting 60 frames per second at this point. So you're going to want to make sure you have Google Chrome and you're going to want to make sure that you're watching it in HD format, either 720 or 1080. And right now I'm going to play The Last of Us remastered on the PlayStation 4, which runs in 60 frames per second. So you guys can see it at its full glory. And also just for you guys, um, my camera is also running in 60 frames per second. That's why it looks nice and smooth and fluid. So um, yeah, with the camera and the video game, on screen, you're gonna see tons of 60 frame per second beauty and it's gonna be nice and smooth for you guys, so stick around. All right, so the game is up and loaded. I'm in the multiplayer game session right now. And um, yeah, it's, it's so smooth, so solid. You guys get to actually see what 60 frames per second looks like if you have not experienced it on a video game yet. It is so fantastic for, as far as gameplay goes now, um, as far as narratives go on games, like watching story mode and that and those types of things, I feel like the 24 or 30 frames per second is better, just because it has more of that cinematic feel that we're all used to when we go to the movie theaters and view movies. So, oh, what you creeping for? What you creeping for? Oh snap! Ah! Fuck. I'm down. Why are you camping, son? Get your ass over here and help me. Ah! Somebody protect me! I'm down. Oh snap! Man, just come, just come kill me. Just come execute me. Just finish me off, man. I'm in 60 frames right now. Man. So aside from me dying plenty and plenty of times in that game, that was just to show you guys the 60 frames per second. And even on the PlayStation main home screen, it's still 60 frames per second. So it should be smooth and fluid for you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my editor, which I specifically use Sony Vegas Pro for my YouTube video gaming stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my editor and just some simple things that you can set up in your editor that makes it so it actually shows in 60 frames per second. So I'll see you guys on Sony Vegas. So now when you bring all your media into Sony Vegas, it should already be 60 frames per second. So once you import it in, everything should be 60 frames per second from the get-go. You're gonna wanna also have your properties be in 60 frames per second, 720p or 1080p, depending on the media that you brought into your editor. So make sure that you see a 60 frames per second option when you bring your media into your timeline. Now, once everything is set in and your video is ready to go, go to your render. And once you go to render out, you're gonna wanna render also in 60 frames per second. Now this makes sure everything across the whole board is in 60 frames per second and runs seamlessly with YouTube. So now, once all that's done, once your video is ready to go, you're gonna wanna upload it to YouTube, basically the same way you do all, every time. Upload it onto YouTube. You follow these simple steps in this video and you'll be showing off your videos in 60 frames per second in no time on YouTube. And you'll be watching them as well. They're beautiful, they're fluid as you can tell. It's all fluid, it's all there. But with all that being said, I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please be sure to comment and let me know if it's working out for you. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to join the MAV movement by subscribing because we're out here making moves. But I will see you all on the next episode of MAV Attack. Sucker.